The Freewell Anamorphic Lens is a $30 magnetic lens designed to stack on top of your Osmo Pocket's existing lens and give you more of a cinematic look. Now, $30 is a great price, so is it actually worth it? Well, one of the first questions you have to ask is, do you even need an anamorphic lens at all? To give you an idea of what the lens is doing, here's the Osmo Pocket with its regular 26 millimeter field of view. Now, right out of camera, you get this weird looking tall, skinny image, but when you de-squeeze this in post, you get a pretty cool wide angle cinematic looking image. You know, and that's the thing, image quality with the Freewell anamorphic lens is actually really good. You want something that provides a distinct look without hindering the image quality in any way, shape, or form, and that's actually what this lens is doing. You know, for example, I've got the Freewell wide angle adapter, but I never really use it because it has all this blurriness like up in the corners, and once you see that, you can't unsee it. But luckily with the Freewell anamorphic lens, there's no degradation of the image quality whatsoever. And of course, we can't talk about anamorphic lenses without mentioning lens flare. You get that really distinct blue line whenever you film into direct light, and it genuinely has like an interesting character. Now, the design of the Freewell anamorphic lens is kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time. It's cool in that it's very tiny and it's magnetic and it just pops onto the camera, but that's the problem. It's very easy to lose this lens. Like, every time I go to put this camera in my pocket, it pops off into my pocket or it falls onto the ground and it's like, if you're not paying attention, you will just totally lose this lens. But you know, I don't really blame Freewell for that because Design-wise, you don't really have a whole lot of options. I mean, the Osmo Pocket is basically just a tiny camera on a tiny gimbal, and if you make this lens any bigger, or if you make it clamp on in any different way, it's gonna completely throw off the weight of the gimbal. So in an engineering sense, it's basically exactly what it has to be, just a really tiny magnetic lens. So overall, something like an anamorphic lens is kind of a matter of personal preference, but in this case, I'd say if you already own a DJI Osmo Pocket, this is only a $30 investment. You know, it's worth giving it a try. Like in the past few weeks that I've been using this lens, I've actually really enjoyed it and I've caught myself actually using the Osmo Pocket more and more for vlogs just because of this little anamorphic lens. You know, I always look at things like this as a cost to value ratio. The Freewell anamorphic lens adds a great deal of value at a very low cost. And in that sense, it's like, why not just give it a try? Uh, anyway, I think that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.